Okay, so in PHP Storm, you've created your first project and maybe you've finished your a1.html. You can see the file over here. This is your local computer on the left hand side. So that's that's where your files are going to live until you put them on the server. This obviously is the window where you're going to write your code. So let's talk a little bit about um, setting up your program so that you can deploy or upload your pages to the server. What you'll notice is if you go to tools and then deployment, all of these options are grayed out right now because we haven't set up your server yet. So go to configuration. You're going to hit this little plus sign that says add and we're going to add an FTP server and you can just give it a name. Uh, this is arbitrary. It doesn't affect the connection. It's just so you can um, know what that server is. And uh, this is what comes up. <clears throat> You'll leave the type at FTP and then the host is www.learn html.css.net, just like that. Your username is the one I gave you in class. In my case, it would be uh, the first, well, in your case, too, it should be the first letter of your first name and then the um, first six letters of your last name. And then on, on top of that, it's set up to look like an email address, so it's that at learnhtmlcss.net okay so you're gonna that's what your username should look like and then your password i sent to you my password is different so i will type that in i'm gonna hit save password so i don't have to type it every time you don't want to check this box if you're on a public computer obviously and then i'm going to test the connection and if I did everything well, then um, I will get a success message. So, so far so good. That means my username and my password are correct. The root path should be left as is. And then mappings on the mappings tab. I just wanna make sure the deployment path has a little forward slash in it. You can't leave that empty or else it won't work. So I should have everything there. And then my web server URL for the purpose of testing is learnhtmlcss.net slash and then that first part of my username. So that would be my root URL for my website. Now I'm going to click OK. And hopefully, if all goes well, then when I right click on my file, this deployment menu should be active and it should give me the option to upload the file. So I'm going to do that now. And you can see down here at the bottom, it says it's uploading it. Got a little success message. It said the file is transferred. Um, but I'm going to show you another way because some of you, for whatever reason, are not getting the option to deploy here. Maybe this menu is grayed out or inactive. That's okay. There's another way to do this. And I'm not exactly sure why that's happening for some of you, but let's just look at this alternative way because it's kind of good to know this anyway. And that is if I go to the tools menu and then I go to deployment, I go all the way down to where it says browse remote host. If I click that, then it's going to open up another window on this side. And this is kind of nice because on the left hand side, I have my files that are on my computer that I'm working on right now. And on this side, I have the files that are on the web server and I can see the file that I just transferred over there. And if I want to, I can, uh, I can delete that file. I can rename it. I can do all kinds of things there. Let's just say I delete the file from the web server. If I delete it, then it's no longer on the web server. It's still here on my local computer, but not on the web server. So if, if you're one of those folks where this deployment menu is grayed out, then after you hit browse remote host, you can actually just take this file and drag it across and put it on the web server and it'll upload it in just the same way. That method should work for you as long as you're able to connect to the web server. And then to test and make sure that what you did worked, 
I'm just going to go www learn html css.net slash b mosley oops and i forgot to add the name of the file a1.html and there it is the magnificent hello world so that should be able to get you through a1 and should also give you a pretty reliable way one way or the other to connect to the web server uh, and get those files transferred over.